Hey guys, what's going on? It's Zay Place here, and welcome to episode one of Road to Gold. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So in this first episode, what I'm going to be going over is going to be my class setups, as well as my settings. This is going to be the first thing. Second thing I'm going to go over is a tip for you to improve your accuracy and your aiming. And it's, it's very easy. It'll take maybe two minutes to fix your settings and adjust. I'll get into that a little bit later. And the third thing I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to go over my week and explain to you how, how this series is going to go and why I chose to do it the way I did. So I'm going to get into detail about that a little bit later. But let's start off with my classes. So I'm trying to be concise and to the point with this. My first setup is a car 98K. Got to have that. Best sniper in the game. My next one is the MK2 Carbine and the HDR. On my car class, I have these as, as the as a setup because I don't have the laser sight unlocked yet, but once I get the laser sight unlocked, it's gonna be on there for sure. Because AD aim down sight speed is the name of the game. And lending your shots, obviously. On my M2K carbine class, this is what I have. I have the, also two reason why I have the perk focus on is because you have to aim really high with this weapon to get one shot kill. And if anyone puts any bullets on you or any damage, your gun's gonna kick and you're gonna miss a shot. So I have to put focus on there to be consistent and get those one shot kills. My third setup that I use often is the HDR. This is probably the one I've, I've used the most. And here is the setup that I have right now. And this is probably the setup that I'm gonna use for most of the gameplays that I have in, in, the, in the near future. Everything else is not really that important. I have Ghost, Double Time, because I like to move fast and amp so I can switch my secondary pretty quickly. Lethal's grenade and flash grenade. I kinda wanna put the sun on there or even I wanna use the stim but I do not have that unlocked until level 47, four levels away. Cause I always try and use the stim but I just throw flashes. I also use the dragon off a little bit but it wasn't really tickling my fancy. So I said, you know what? I unlocked some of the, I unlocked some of the, uh, the other snipers and the Martian Rifles, I said, I'm, I'm going to do those ones first and I'll get to the Dragon off after and the EBR and I'll, I'll do that later because they're not really that fun and interesting to watch. Ooh, I almost forgot. So with this, I'm also going to show you guys all the camos that I have unlocked because this is a road to gold. I'm going to try and get all these weapons gold, inevitably unlocking the Chrome camo. It's, it's Chrome, right? Um, I doesn't even show you. Um, I believe I, it's either Chrome or Platinum, whatever it is. So this is, I only have these four these four categories unlocked, and you can see I'm only 6 out of 10 done those, 7 out of 10, 1 out of 10, 9 out of 10, almost done this one, this is single shot. With the carbine, I have, oh, the wrong thing, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of the, category, of the categories done, and I believe the HDR, this is the one that I'm furthest with. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, so seven of the categories taken care of. or well, not really taken care of, but unlocked. And I, I think most of the episode next week is going to be me unlocking the HDR gold. I'm just going to try and grind for that and get try and get that gold. As soon as possible, and I'll figure out what I want to, which one I want to use next. And another thing too, I want to add is that for the reticle, I always use the cross thread reticle because I feel it's the clearest to see through, and is the easiest for me to land my shots. Obviously, it's personal preference, but for, on all my snipers with, with a sniper scope on it, cross thread is the way to go for me. So, I'm gonna flip to some gameplay, and I'm gonna, gonna tell you guys the tip on how to improve your accuracy and your aim like that. Hey guys, and we are back. I just want to say thank you to all the people that are watching and watched through the whole video. I also want to say thank you to the people that even just clicked on the video and are at a timestamp. Because time is money, and if you want to go through the timestamp and start watching the video, it's all good. I appreciate you even being here. So to get started on the point that you probably need to put in this video or the important point, of how to improve your aim. So here's some here's three of my tips that I use to improve my accuracy and my aiming while I'm sniping. 
So the first thing is that I use, which we mentioned before, so I'm not going to go over too much, is I use the precision aim assist as opposed to using standard. The reason why I do that is because I feel with the timing, it's a lot better for me while I'm drag scoping. When I use standard aim assist, it's a little bit too strong for me and I don't really like it. So if you feel that you're a little bit off of your shot, because you're a little bit behind the player, try and use the precision aim assist and maybe you'll start letting some of your shots more. The second tip that I want to provide is try not to rush too much, especially when you're using a sniper. Especially going around corners, you don't really want to be sprinting around the map and sprinting around corners that whether or not if you know somebody is there. A lot of times people are camping and pre-aiming corners and you can't really do that as a sniper because you only have one shot and you gotta make the most of the shot. So what I tend to do is I tend to either walk around corners or jump around corners and aiming where I think somebody's going to be. A lot of people like to crouch. And for some reason, when you crouch in this game and I snipe people, you get a lot of hit markers when people are crouched. I don't know because the hitbox is too small, but regardless, that's not really the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is when you're going around corners, you don't want to sprint around corners. You want to pretty much assume around every single corner there's going to be somebody there waiting for you so that when you go on the corner you aim and you're ready to fire and you can adjust to where you see somebody because the time that it takes for you to go from a full sprint around the corner to stop and pull up your weapon and aim down sight it's significantly slower when you're sprinting compared to when you're walking around the corner and you just need to aim down sight there's no perk or no attachment that I know of that improves the sprint to fire speed or sprint to inbound sights speed with snipers. I know of attachments with the SMGs and I think assault rifles that use that and the same probably shotguns as well. So that's my, my tip number two is don't sprint around corners. If you have a controller that you could use that, that you could map 2x like I have, that you can map to X that I have, that you could jump around corners while aiming. Makes things a lot easier. You'll get a lot more kills and you wouldn't die as much opposed to sprinting around corners. And the final tip, the most important tip of how to improve your accuracy in aiming, it has to do with your controller. So one day I came across a video and it said how to reset your controller. I just thought I need to reset my controller because it's a very old controller, probably four to five years old, if not more. And I said, you know, maybe if I reset my controller, it'll just work better. I didn't really, I didn't think I had that many issues with my controller, but once I did this, it improved my aiming tremendously. So with how to go about resetting your controller is you want to turn your, your PlayStation 4 completely off and you want to take a controller flip it over and where the, the L2 trigger is, there's going to be two holes. There's going to be one hole that's going to, that's going to have a screw in it and the next hole is going to be a hole that you don't really see the bottom of. Within that second hole in your controller, there's a reset button. So the hole on the reset button, the hole with the reset button, you want to take a pin while your position three, the position four is off, you want to take a pin and push that down for 10 seconds. Once that's completed, you can get rid of the pin, do whatever you want with it, and plug your, your position four controller back into your position four, because if you if you try to turn it on, it probably won't turn off if it's properly reset. So you plug your position, position four controller with the wire into the position four, turn it on, and that's it. I've noticed that I was struggling sniping this whole this whole week after a couple of days, the very first day, my shots were landing and I got this gameplay on on hard hat using the newly reset. I'm sorry about that. Um, people keep messaging me. I put my uh, phone notifications off one moment. I think I fixed it. Sorry about that. So I got these uh, this gameplay with my newly kind of reset controller. So I also dropped my controller a lot as well, which I think that kind of jars the controller around and messes some things up in there with the sticks and it's an older controller. So it's always nice to 
reset your controller every couple of days because I feel that it helps with your aim and your accuracy. Because the whole day I was playing today and the other days leading up to, to me making this video, I was struggling with my aim and I was trying to snipe and I wasn't figuring out what was going on. So if you are aiming down sight and you're, having, you're feeling like you're having troubles locking onto people or it feels like your aim assist isn't really working as much, it's not really as strong, that might have to do with the fact that you need to reset your controller. So once I reset my controller, I noticed that when I aim on the site and I aim for somebody and I drag my scope, I would hit people a lot more. When I was aiming with regular weapons like SMGs and assault rifles, I didn't feel like I was aiming away from them. I didn't. I feel like like my gun was aiming right on them, and I had no troubles once I reset my controller. So I hope that these tips could help you. And on to the next part of this commentary is going to be just in general my week and how most of these gameplays and most of these videos are going to work with the Road to Gold series. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video because this is the episode one, so I'm kind of using a this time to explain what's going on and how this is going to work, but I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible. So with that being said, here's how my week went. So notable events that happened this week was there's an update. We got rid of what was a shoot the rusty ship, whatever it was. Which really upset me because Rust, Shoot House, and Shipment are the three easiest maps to get all of these challenges done. And we traded it out for Hard Hat. Which, by the way, I did not know one person that wanted Hard Hat in this game. For me, I, I didn't say that I wanted Hard Hat in this game. I didn't want to see this map in this game. I would have loved to see Dome from Modern Warfare 3. I would have loved to see Terminal from MW2 and whatever games that Terminal appeared in. I'm going to appear in MW3 again. I don't know why they haven't really put these maps in, but Dome would have been a cool map to put in. Or Terminal, you know, those are fan favorites. Kind of makes sense because of marketing or let's say as as this game comes to the end of its life cycle, you kind of want to spark things by putting fan favorite maps in. Makes sense, but I would like to see these maps in a lot earlier instead of Hard Hat. I don't know. It, the map plays all right, but I just think it's a trash map in general. I would just have rather seen either Dome in there or maybe I would have rather liked to see Turbo. I wouldn't cool at any of those two maps, to be honest. But it is what it is. I'm kind of probably a little bit salty because the small small map playlist is no longer there. Shoot the rest of the ship or whatever it's called. Because that's the best. These are the best three maps to get all the challenges done, in my opinion. These just maps to get the long shots, crouching kills, because they're small maps, fast pace, and you know what people are going to be all the time. So another thing I realized about what's happening this week, because I don't normally use the snipers, and I'm trying not to use, use the marksman rifles as much, because the marksman rifles are so much better than the sniper rifles in this game. They aim on sight fast. The car has really good damage compared to the carbine. But the snipers in general have a lot more damage, so you, the range where you can get the one-shot kills is a lot higher. But the aim down sight speed is so slow, and the way that these guns sway to aim down sight and sway a little bit once you are aiming down sight before it gets centered means that for some reason it is always really inaccurate when I'm shooting and it's never fast enough to aim down sight until you unlock the attachments. Until you unlock all the attachments for the stock and the laser sight, I feel like the sniper rifles are almost impossible to use. I haven't used the AX50 yet. But I know it is the best sniper, so that one probably won't be as hard to get used to. But I do enjoy using the HDR because I've been using it of all the guns that I've been sniping with the most this week. I just feel it's really satisfying to get kids with the HDR and to snipe people with it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot longer than most of my videos are normally. Next week, we will be having another episode of. Road to Gold. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys made it to the end, and let's just say comment. Let's just say pizza. If you made it to the end, comment pizza. And I'd really appreciate it if you, if you did that. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. Take it easy. Peace.